Okay, this is your daily reminder. Taxes are due April the 18th. You have until midnight on the 18th to file electronically. Remember, the post office no longer stays open late for you to get a postmark by midnight. Hey, you know what? When you see this stat, it kind of makes you wonder, why do so many people wait? Three out of four taxpayers get a refund, and it's been that way for years and years and years. Does it surprise you that most people get refunds, especially with like the negative connotation of taxes. It's the yeah. first thing I thought of though, as I mean, 75% of the people aren't balancing their, their budgets the way they yeah. should. Mm -hmm. If you consistently get money back, you're just letting the government have your money for longer. That mm -hmm. is what they say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is, fu it is funny though. Like, you know, like I, I look forward to doing my taxes because I get money back. Right. Yeah. And you get a big chunk of money that you can see versus like yeah. the extra right. 50 bucks in your paycheck right. or whatever. For those with refunds out there, do you save any for your refund? I try to save a portion of it okay. to put in savings, save a little bit to put in my checkings, and then I use the rest to pay off debt. Okay. So to help pay off credit cards. Okay. So I look forward to that refund, so I'm like, okay, I can pay this down. Gotcha, and a good chunk of it, okay. We, we, don't, we usually try to balance it out so we don't get a whole lot of back. We, might, we usually owe a little bit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And for me, it's just all, like I put it toward debt. Now, I don't have a lot of debt, but like it just all goes to it. I don't that's say what that. happens, that's okay. Smart. Mm. All right, now you may have already spent your tax refund, those of you at home, uh, but that does not mean that you can't jump on this next bandwagon. Ready for the next bandwagon? Ready. I know what you're gonna say. The Maybe. bandwagon is saving for the emergency fund. <laughs> Uh huh. the rainy day fund, whatever you want to call it. We've all experienced major financial emergencies, an unexpected home repair, medical bills, or even loss of income. Having a rainy day fund to cover these types of unplanned expenses can protect you from major debt which could easily turn into a financial crisis. The rule of thumb is having enough money to cover three to six months of essential expenses, and that's housing, food, transportation, and debt repayments. An online savings calculator like this one can help you figure out your savings goal, what you need to set aside each month to reach that goal, and how quickly that money will grow definitely important to start saving as much as you can or as little as you can. If it's $5, $10 a month, you'll be surprised how quickly that adds up. And you know, there are a few tricks to this. Make automatic deposits into your savings account. You don't miss as much it when you don't see it as much, right? And don't save at your regular bank. Instead, find an online savings account that's high yield, that's giving you something like four to 5% interest. I've got a list for you from NerdWallet in the Two Wants to Know section.